Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I just want to give a public warning to all parents in, with, that have children in public school systems around the United States of America. So this is what I heard from the Spirit of God. We have to get rid of hell ed. <laughs> He's calling it hell. I'm just going to say what I hear. So um, that didn't come from my own mind. So I hear him call it. So what used to be sex education is now hell education. So what I've heard him say is really, really strong. There is something that you need to get an opt out form from your teachers and opt your children out of any of that. You don't need to look at it. I would encourage you don't look at it. Don't review it. You don't need that coming in your eye gates or your ear gates. It's gross. Don't let your children around it. Don't even evaluate it. Don't even go there. I want to encourage you to just go to your teachers, go to your schools and say, I need an opt out of the sex education that's coming down the line right now for my children. It is a, it is, they are obligated to give it to you. And I would encourage you very, very strongly that you keep that at home for your children that you, and, and the next thing that I heard is to teach your children to say no. <laughs> so teach them to say no, that in certain scenarios where God says, I hate evil with a perfect hatred, those are scenarios where we say no. And you can tell your children that if there is anything that they're ever asked to look at or listen to where they feel yucky inside, they run away. They say no, no, no. They shut their eyes and they shut their ears and they say no. So I am encouraging and I'm releasing a spirit of boldness in the parents and that that boldness from the living God would come down into the children at every age level and they will be bold to say no and run away. No matter who's asking them, whether it's authority or no, we submit to authority, we honor authority, we have humble hearts with authority, but when this is a defilement from the kingdom of God and what God has asked, then we agree with God and we say no. And it's okay to be bold. Our little children are going to have a supernatural release of boldness to say no, because no filthiness needs to come into our hearts and minds of our children and defile them anymore. So teach your children to say no. And also pray um, the prayer. I would encourage you to pray the prayer of Acts 4 for boldness um, that you, Father, would grant unto your servants that with all boldness we would speak your word without fear, that you would stretch out your mighty hand to heal and deliver your people in the name of your holy child, Jesus. It's a prayer. I think it's in Acts 4. You can look it up. To teach, to pray that prayer over your children, over your family every day. And the other one is from Zechariah 2.8. And he says, For I say it, the Lord shall be unto, and you can say your name, your family name, your children's name, their school name, a wall of fire round about in the glory in the midst of her. God has risen up very strongly with a vengeance and a fire of jealousy over our children. It's very strong. And I say children, youth, adults, in this hour, it is very important to guard our gates. That anything you hear, fear, hell, <laughs> hell ed, defilement, you don't need to evaluate it, listen to it, any of it. You don't need to analyze it. I... I don't do any of it. Eyes, ears, that's it. I want God, his purity. I speak his word and his prophecies from his heart, from the word of God over our nation, over our children. That's what I need. So I just encourage you um, in the strength of the Lord to go forth and have a clean slate, a fresh start, a new year, whatever time that you're watching this. And I just want to bless the families in this nation, bless the children in this nation with the protection and the vengeance of a living God who is very jealous to pre preserve and protect and restore the innocence of our children and our youth. In Jesus' name, bless you, love you.